Hello everyone, welcome to Nihon Galas. And first of all, Happy New Year. Today is January 2nd. As usual, I say today is the day when I film the video. When will I post it? I still don't know. But today, January 2nd, we come to Takasaki in Gunma Prefecture because we have a very special festival, okay? Daruma Festival. Today, we will see the Daruma and we will see what can we visit in Takasaki and we'll tell you more about it. Are you ready? Let's start. Takasaki is the country's biggest producer of Daruma. Because of that, it is also known as Daruma City. Daruma is a traditional Japanese doll, and it is so popular that even the word in Japanese for snowman is Yuki Daruma or Snow Daruma. And the traditional game Red Light, Green Light is known as Daruma Sanga Koronda or Daruma fell down, since Daruma are usually weighted at the bottom so that they can always return to an uptight position. Illustrating the phrase Nanakorobi Yaoki, translated as if you fall seven times, stand up eight. The main idea if you get a Daruma is to make a wish and color its left eye. That should remind us our goals or wishes every time we see it. After our wish or goal has been fulfilled, the right eye should be colored as well. This is a different version only for the festival. There are two giant darumas with colored eyes and it is possible to write your wish on it. Of course, I had to try it as well, although it was hard to find an empty space where people still didn't write anything. Daruma is very popular and many people know about Daruma, but not that many people know about the origin. What is the history behind the Daruma? Why is it like that? It is said everything comes around the 5th, 6th century. There was one monk called Bodhidharma. He was trying to spread the Zen Buddhism and he was always meditating. Okay, to meditate he was always meditating in front of a wall, looking at the wall. And uh, it is said that he was always trying to meditate with the eyes open, wide open. But there was one time in seven years that he blinked a little. To avoid that and lose concentration, he literally cut his eyelid. Okay, both eyelids cut. And he continued meditating after that, several years. He meditated so many years, no eating, according to the legend, no eating, no drinking, only meditating, that all his extremities, the arms and the legs, fell off. That's why our Daruma has no eyelids, no legs, and no arms. Everything fell due to the meditation of this Bodhidharma. <laughs> Daruma is generally red, although you can find many other colors. After the festival, we took a bus to the second place of our visit, Jigenin Temple. We are now in Jigenin Temple, which is basically known because of this huge sculpture, it's a 41.8 meter high, it's a sculpture of the goddess Kanu, in Buddhism the goddess of mercy, okay? So, because of this goddess, uh, this sculpture was made here in 1936 and 
since that moment, at that moment it became the world's uh, largest cannon. Okay, right now it's not, but it, it was back then. We are going to try walking around and showing you around the temple, the goddess, and what can we see around. The full name of this goddess would be Takasaki Byakue Dai Cannon or Giant Takasaki White Road Cannon. Can you see some holes in Cannon's body? They are windows. For a 300 yen fee, you can access inside the statue, and I think it's pretty worth it, not only for the sides but also for the Buddhist sculptures. Let me show you some of them. Enma, the king of Buddhist hell and judge of afterlife. Myoken, a deification of the Northern Star. Amida Nyorai, main Buddha of pure land Buddhism. Nichiren, a Japanese priest. Nichiren sects of Buddhism are created because of him. Fudo Myo, wrathful deity, remover of obstacles and destructor of evil, venerated in many Buddhist branches. Kobo Daisi or Kukai, Founder of Singon Buddhism, one of the main Buddhist branches in Japan and featured in multiple legends. Prince Satoku, the one who introduced Buddhism in Japan. For more information, check my videos around Asuka. According to Buddhism, Buddha is each person who managed to attain the Buddhahood, but this one, Sakanyorai in Japanese, would be the historical Buddha, also known as Sakyamuni or Siddhartha Gautama. Through the small windows you can have nice views of Takasaki. You can even see the huge shadow of the cannon statue where we are in. This side would be facing Tokyo, but don't ask me to point anything out there. Tokyo is quite far away from here. The last statue I wanted to show you is Byakue Cannon. Yes, inside the huge Byakue Cannon there is another Byakue Cannon, like a matrioska. Okay. We got to try this. I never saw it before. Tofu ice cream. <laughs> Let's see how does it like how does it taste? It's true that it tastes a little bit like tofu. It's not bad. It's curious. Okay, not bad, not bad. <laughs> These small buses are usually the way to connect Takasaki Station area with Jigenin Temple, and it takes about 25 minutes. The last point I wanted to visit was the Takasaki Castle Ruins. Nowadays, this is the only thing left, but I still wanted to check it out. Since the Heian period, many clans controlled this castle, starting by the Wada clan. After Ieyasu takes control of Kanto, he orders Inaomasa, one of his most trusted four generals, to build a castle here, on the ruins of Wado Castle, because it was controlling a strategic junction between Nakasendo and Mikunikaido. After Sekigahara battle, the castle's possession was passing through several clans of Fudai Daimyo, long story short, clans who supported Ieyasu during this battle. In 1873, after the Meiji Restoration, most of the castle was destroyed, but we still have these ruins at the park where you can take a stroll freely. Alright everyone, that was all for today. We were able to visit three different places. We visited the Aruma Festival over there, 
on the whole street. We also visited the Kanon Yama, the mountain and the Jigeni temple, it was very interesting. And last but not least, the ruins of Takasaki Castle. No doubt it was a very interesting trip. So, I think if you are interested in Daruma or any other part about the Japanese culture, I think it's a good recommended area for your one day trip from Tokyo. Everybody, did you enjoy? I hope you did. As usual, if you did, remember your like, subscribe, comment. You can comment anything you want. What is another one day trip from Tokyo that you recommend? Leave it on the comment below. Everybody, thank you so much for coming and have a nice day. See ya! Yeah. <laughs>